Page 34, God be with you till we meet again. 4-4 four, four time, C major, at the beginning, let's talk about this, make sure we got the rhythm okay. Right hand, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, hold the B down, it's a half note. Going on, 1 and 2 and 3 and, 1 and 2 and 3 and, rest and. because you got F's there. Two. And then second finger here. It just makes it easier to reach the fifth finger if you use second. And then follow their fingering. It's good. And then at the top of page 35 they're saying one, two, one. I prefer either a two, three, one because I'm here. I can just reach up here. I don't need to use thumb again. I can use 2-3-1 or 3-4-1. But on the first full measure there, it needs to be thumb. So how how you play the eighth notes, it's up to you. You can use 2-3 or 3-4 or 1-2. I don't recommend 1-2, but it's up to you. But just make sure you get a thumb on that here. Because that's a dotted half note. You see the dotted half note with the stem going down? It means two voices. One voice is doing the quarter note. The other voice is doing just meat. See? So you're going to hold that down and then you. And the next measure, that F, you're going to hold that down for three counts. And then lift up. Second line, first measure, they're saying five. Not necessary. You use four, you're there. Just reach the two down for the E. And then th th third finger on the last D. That's fine. And then again, we got these eighth notes. I don't care which fingers you use. I like three and four because they're there. But the thumb has to be on that G. And hold it down. It's a dotted half note. So you got to hold these notes down. They're different voices. If you have multiple people singing, they would be singing each of these parts. And that works out well in the right end. Left hand just has these chords. Keep it quiet. Second measure on page 34. Hold that G down all the way across. It's, a, it's two half notes tied together. Hold it all the way down and then you go down. You can get that I think I'm hoping. And page 35 this is where you, there's a backup chorus for people singing these. So forth. I think you can get those. Put the heads together very carefully here at the beginning. Make sure you're holding all these notes down you're supposed to, their lengths. It's important. Rest. I'm going to hold each one out one extra beat for the left hand. Hold and then here again hold one extra beat and then go on. And this is the way it works. Work it out very slowly. It's a nice piece. Now we have to smooth this out and again the pedal is going to help us do that. So it's pretty much a legato pedal. But we need to hear the rest. We want to hear some phrasing. Oh, and this is fun. So we're going to push the nose down and then the pedal. because it's a new phrase. Lift it up. Lift it up for the rest. Lift it up for the rest. I'm going to hold that one 
extra count and then lift up before you go on. It's a new phrase. Now you're pedaling with, with the left hand here, but keep in mind the left hand, the right hand can be smooth here. you play the last beat it's a new phrase and you repeat all of that again it's a pretty piece let's play it slowly together just just to double check things now I don't know at this point if you really need to play with me on these because we're kind of getting up there advancing a little more but I'm going to play it slowly very very slowly. If you want to play along to check your notes and your rhythms to make sure you got the right notes and so forth, you're welcome to play. I'm going to give myself four counts and try it out, and I am going to repeat it. So, hands here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ready and go. And one and two. Repeat. Repeat. 